911, what's the nature of your emergency? Welcome back to the Tactical Living Podcast. I'm your host, Ashley Walton, joined by Detective Walton. Clint, how are you? I'm good. I know that in the past, I have spoken a lot on the contracts that we make with ourselves and how important it is to have 100% non-negotiable contracts with ourselves. But in today's episode, I thought that we could dive into that a little bit deeper and we could talk about what an attorney and you, the listener, have in common. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy today's content. I've been in this 300-day coaching program called Heroic, and I absolutely love the content. I've been sharing a lot of it on here with you guys. I've been educating Clint a great deal. I'm the type of person that takes in content, and I try my best to retain that content and knowledge by sharing it with other people. It's the best way for me to learn something. It's the best way for me to make sure that I always remember what it is that I've learned and It's something that I want to continue to do, and today's episode is no exception. And my lead coach in this training, his name is Brian Johnson. He actually dropped out of law school one semester before completing it. How crazy is that, right? That's nuts. Like out of every profession you could choose, you choose one of the most difficult ones, and then you say sayonara right before it's over. And luckily he did because you can tell with the work that he produces that he's truly found his calling, and he's living in his passion. He'll say day to day to day or moment to moment to moment. And what he talks about is something I had never heard of before when it comes to the realm of attorneys. And in the attorney world, they have something called bright lines. And that is really a metaphor for having contracts that are black and white. And so what they mean by this is having it so transparent, having the lines in between the do's and the don'ts or the yeses and the no's so bright that there's no confusion. And he applied that to his own life. And he told himself, I believe he said 10 years ago, that he was no longer going to eat fast food. And so he would be driving by McDonald's like weeks into this thing and ask himself, like, is today the day that I'm going to like screw this up and then eat a Big Mac? And When it comes to that mindset, he started to recognize that he didn't have bright lines in this habit. He didn't have bright lines in this contract that he set forward for himself. And instead, that was a little bit gray, right? Because a bright line would be, I, Brian, am never going to eat fast food again. So that would mean when you drive by McDonald's, you don't even give it a second thought. It's literally non-negotiable. I am never, and what discipline, right? To be able to say to yourself, I'm never going to eat fast food again. Yeah. And he screwed up several times, but 10 years later, he has never consumed fast food. And that is because he created, by the attorney contract, (laughs) these bright lines that were so vivid in his life that they simply couldn't be crossed. And I started to think about the fact that there are many times where I myself have created these bright lines that are just like absolutely no more or absolutely yes, that's how it is. And I never attributed it to be something of that connotation, but I love that that lawyer speak of having these bright lines when it comes to these non-negotiable contracts. And the reason for that is because when we tell ourselves no more, I think we've all been at a place in our lives where we say no more to maybe it's drama that you have taken in by a particular family member and you say no more And that means that you are never going to X, Y, Z with that individual ever again, right? I I had a lot of no mores last year myself on a personal level. And I've talked to a lot of people in recent time who have also had a lot of those very vivid, bright white lines that, of course, they would never know to be bright white lines. But again, it's that self-contract that we make with ourselves where we just decide enough is enough and we're going to go this way or that way. And there's, there's just no in between, yeah, and I think a lot of us individually, we we make those and create those bright lines without even the knowledge that we're doing so. I think as time goes on, you find something. It's like just to, and I'll just go down to the first thing that popped in my head with this is like horseradish. I hate horseradish. <laughs> like it, 
I I can eat any and every food. I've eaten the strangest things in this world, but horseradish I will not touch. It completely it'll make me puke. Like uh, that's a bright line for me. I am not going to eat horseradish or things that taste like it. Otherwise, I'm going to puke and I'm not going to be able to eat anything anything else because it completely turns my stomach. But that's something that kind of comes up for me in in going down this this rabbit hole of it is you you make these lines for yourself you make these personal contracts with yourself saying i'm going to do something or i'm not going to do something and you live by those uh some may be difficult to go by because it's something that you like ashley said it was eating fast food. Like you might enjoy eating fast food, but you don't enjoy how it makes you feel. And it's so important to figure out the ones that you like and dislike and make your own determination of what you want to do with it. And it doesn't necessarily have to just be the things that we don't want, right? Because something that I have created a bright line for um, probably within the last two years or so is I, I know that I need to eat more food. There are days where like I, I simply won't eat. I'll get so caught up in things and that's, that's one of my things. And so for me, consuming 30 grams of protein from a protein shake on a consistent basis, that is one of my white lines. That is something that I introduced into my life that allows me to have 30 more grams of protein than I wouldn't have had had I not had that drink every single day. We found the healthiest protein shake on the market and it is super low calorie, super low carb, super low sugar, like all the things, right? And so I know that I'm getting something good in me, even if I'm like failing at other meals throughout the day, which is something that I certainly work on, especially, you know, with increased strength training and things like that. So I, I think it's important to also understand as we learn this concept and we learn where we're already applying it into our lives and where we can introduce this into our lives to know that when we tell ourselves that this is a non-negotiable, we first have to decide on the thing, right? We talk about the North Star a lot. So whatever that thing is that you want to do or to not do, and then make it non-negotiable. Starting now, not tomorrow, like literally starting now, it is no longer going to be that way or it is now going to be this way. And when we do that, then you know we're not going to talk ourselves out of it because this is a contract for us. This is something that we're putting forth that is healthy and supportive of ourselves and our goals or the things we want to do or habits we want to break, habits habits that we want to introduce and implement into our lives. And I think it's important for us to understand those concepts on both sides of the spectrum. And even if you need to go as far as writing out a contract for yourself and actually physically signing it, sometimes... I love how you're talking about this. Like, it's your brand new idea. It is. And I have <laughs> <laughs> But it, it's something that... It just came to me in this this yeah. instance. I was like, bah! no, but it, it's really some people need that tangible thing to do. And if that's who you are, create that for yourself. And it's OK to have that. Just like you go to a car dealership, you purchase a car, you sign a contract, you pay your bill on a monthly basis. So. What's the difference from signing that contract and the contract within yourself? Have penalties in place if you don't follow through. Yeah, and I know when I don't follow through, right, then the repo man comes around. Then that's me starting to feel the inflammation in my body or me realizing that I'm not getting the sleep that I need or understanding that productivity sucked or income is decreasing and not on this same trajectory of increase that, you know, we, we work for all the time. And I think it's important for us to just really, we need to be real with ourselves. And I think that that's really what it boils down to, because you can have all the contracts that you want in the world, but if you're not making those payments and that repo man comes around, then, you know, usually that's when we start to come up with all the excuses about, quote unquote, why we didn't pay that bill that month. And, you know, our our bodies, our health, our life, our our work, the the money that we bring in, our families, all the facets of our life. They work in the same way of having these routine contributions and it could be something that you work on on a weekly basis, a monthly basis, a daily basis. We just need to get clear on what those things are. And I think that when we have that clarity and we know what that contract is and we can make sure that those bright lines are as as crystal bright as they can be, then it really leaves no room for error. 
and it certainly leaves no room for those gray lines. So I hope you've gotten some value out of today's episode. If you have, do us a favor, drop a review, subscribe down below. And as always, know that I am sending you a long, tight hug from our home to yours.